Early Settlers with Jen from Interiors Attic talking about all things living rooms and how we lay them out and how we work out what to put in them, Jen. Yep. Now, some people I notice often put in the big anchor piece. Yes. They put in the big lounge and, then and a focal lost. point. Yep. Which is usually a TV. Yes. If there's a man in the house. Well, yes. <laughs> she keeps saying yes, and you're, I'm right. <laughs> I'm just being diplomatic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they stop. They get a bit lost about what next. Do we do we match? What do we put in? Yeah. What do we need? Everyone can choose a couch and knows they want a TV, but the other stuff is a bit harder, isn't it? All right. So let's make a list for everyone. What are Essentials. the essential items? A focal point, which yes. could be TV, could, could be, be fireplace, art. Beautiful bookcase. Yeah, beautiful built-in shelving kind of. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So focal point. What else? Uh, coffee table. Oh, I Got to have the coffee table. table, but also side tables. Side tables. Absolutely. And this is a perfect example of why you need them. If you were snuggled up in that corner yep. to get across to this table to put Come things on. down, yeah, you'd, you'd have to comfy. Move. Yeah. You want to have something over here as well. Absolutely. So side tables, coffee tables, lounge, focal point. What else? Rug. Oh, essential. And you know what? This is one of the times in life I truly believe bigger is better. It absolutely like, is. Literally. Yeah. Size matters when it comes yeah. to rug. Yeah. And the bigger rug you can afford and get into that space, yes. absolutely the and better. And in general, that will make your room look bigger as well. It will. Otherwise, what I find is you literally cut your floor space up and it, yeah. it's a quite a visual distraction. We really want to avoid that flying carpet look of <laughs> car <laughs> rectangular carpet. carpet and you know things around it in an ideal world we'd always anchor our front legs of at our least. at yeah. least of our sofa at a minimum yes. front legs of your sofa and armchairs at least onto, onto your rug, rug yeah. at a minimum okay so rug now that we've had a rug rant yeah <laughs> i like that the flying rug reminds me of like aladdin's magical Abs magical yeah, rug absolutely all right so rug coffee table lounge side tables what else focal point um window coverings yeah very important um, i'm is. a big fan of the plantation shutter but they are an investment so they're not for everyone um, i'm a fan of drapery i know that sounds are, I know. really and old fashioned really, no it's not though because it's really coming back shears are everywhere it is so functional really though long curtains that kind of puddle onto the floor oh i'm against puddling but that's a kid mm. thing it, and yes can you imagine my three of my boys and my daughter running yeah. along the puddle but you definitely can't have them too short because that's worse oh no that'd be a bit like a bad fringe yeah but it's really important like it can really um, you know, those beautiful sheer drapes can really soften a room. Those shutters can add a really sort of Hamptons look if that's what you're after. Yep. So don't underestimate the window. The power fashions. of window furnishings. Yeah, and especially absolutely. if you're in a place where you've renovated or you're wanting to renovate and yep. the windows are a bit manky. This is exactly my house, you know. <laughs> I've got some quite dated metal framed windows, but you wouldn't know from the inside because you they've got shutters no everywhere. And yeah, so they look, you know, they could be brand new windows, yeah. I like it. Now this I know is a passion of both yours and mine. The one element we haven't mentioned yet, two elements. One is yep. lighting. Yes. So we have our task lighting. So, you know, when yeah. we need to clean and vacuum and get underneath the lounge, we put yeah. on our down lights. Absolutely. But yeah. at night when we're sitting there watching TV, uh, we need to think about ceiling, eye level, thigh level, table level absolutely, lighting. Absolutely, yeah. You want to just be able to relax. You can't relax of an evening with just bright halogen down lights. No. And equally, you can't turn everything off and not be able to find your... <laughs> You'd be stumbling for your cup of tea, Yeah, Jen. exactly. And that cup of tea is very important, isn't it? <laughs> it is. So, um, yeah. You've, and it's just a, a mood setting thing as it well. Is. Is it is. It's yeah. atmospheric. And so for people that don't have a lot of floor space and they're going, but you know what, I can't do that. Think about hanging a pendant over one corner yep. of the lounge nice and low. Yep. Or that's a actually a really interesting point. What if everyone's going, that's great if you've got a huge house, Jen. Like that yep. list is amazing. Yep. Like I've got a small lounge room. Should I lose some items? The no. answer is no. no go no, smaller. No. That's right. Keep so explain them. that. Um, well, you know, some people would say, well, obviously my, I have a small living room, I can't have side tables, that's an obvious thing that I would cut back on. Just get smaller, you know, get something that's, you know, this kind of diameter. It can still have your cup of tea in your book and um, it still looks lovely. So I don't feel like small space, 
have a couch and a coffee table, nothing else. Just absolutely. Everyone's catering to um, the increase in people living in apartments, and you can Correct. get smaller versions of everything now. And you can even get really, really clever furniture. Like oh, I, love I love things that are double duty yes. and that are you know extendable or yes. nesting tables, all of that kind of stuff. Well, I even saw an amazing table the other day that I actually am bringing back to my house. That it's a traditional old table, but it's at the perfect height that when you spin it around, it actually comes over the top of the arm. That's so cool. And so literally, if you had a smaller space, you could have yeah. it half overlapping the arm of the lounge. Yeah. So, it, you know, it's it's a side table, but takes up smaller yeah. area. And you can have like a smaller nest of coffee tables where one of them could come out and be used as a side table. Perfect. Yeah. That's like good bang for buck too. Absolutely. That's great bang for buck. Yeah. All right. So the last thing that we haven't mentioned, which we all know is essential, especially in your world, yes. anyone who's seen your bookcases or your coffee tables is the finality of styling. Yeah, you have to accessorise. That's what's going to make your home look like yours or give it personality, make it unique, make it not like everyone else. So stamp it. Absolutely stamp it. You can't just have function and um, nothing else. No heart, no soul. Absolutely, yeah. And All that's right. the fun part. It, for some. Yeah. <laughs> it's a terrifying part for other people. It is, but I tell you what, we've had Jen on the show many times before and I know we've got a lot of segments coming that talk to her all about those styling elements. So if you are freaking out at the concept of styling your side tables or your coffee tables, stay tuned on The Renault Show because we have plenty of good stuff for you. Yeah. So in the meantime, Jen, thank you so much. I think everyone's going to be hitting the catalogues. Hope so. Um, and checking out where they can get their new side tables, coffee tables from. And um, large rugs. And very large rugs. Thanks so much, Jen. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for watching. Did you know I run workshops on all things renovation and DIY? So I've popped a link below in the description so you can check out the schedule for the rest of the year. I hope to see you there.